Hi, my name is Jyoti. I came to Australia in 2009. Australian culture was a very different culture for me because my family and my culture are very traditional. I was married at that time. I'm Deepa. I moved to Australia in 2005 uh, to study, to do a master's in communications at Swinburne University and I've been here ever since. I work in IT, which I've done for most of my career. Now I work in software. My name is Dr. Manjula O'Connor. I'm executive director at the Australasian Centre for Human Rights and Health. I'm a psychiatrist by training and a part-time academic at the Melbourne University as a senior fellow at the Department of Psychological Medicine. My name is Nish Power. I'm an entertainer, a singer, a finance professional, and I'm also studying business management, majoring in finance. Now I'm here to deliver a message about male violence and domestic violence, which society condones as it's cool or it's okay to do. However, it's definitely not a cool thing to do. Being a lawyer and on the board of ACHR, I'm often called upon to advise on the legal issues surrounding domestic violence. I know the consequences, I know what um, remedies are available to a victim. I know how the system works. Family violence is caused by two main factors. There is abuse of power by one partner over another, and there is gender inequality. These two factors lead to number of things such as physical abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse, sexual abuse and religious abuse. Domestic violence is happening quite a lot in the community. What I wonder sometimes is what goes through in the mind of a man when he's actually committing an act of violence. Why don't you understand what I'm going to tell you? You never listen to me! I'm so mad at you! Does he believe that it's his right to do something like that? Or is he um, is he just showing power or is, does he feel remorse later? Does he feel guilty? Is he just angry? My work portrays the message of care and support for a partner and cherishing the woman in your life. Male dominance is a thing of the past. It shouldn't be covered up or played down. One of the ways that um, financial abuse becomes very important is uh, through a dowry. Dowry is the custom of bestowing gifts from one party to another, that is from groom to the bride or from bride to the groom in the context of a marriage. As part of the marriage arrangements, my in-laws demanded a dowry in cash and gift. Dollar value on the bride or the groom that this sort of custom places reduces the humanity of those people to money value. Straight after marriage, they ask, start asking for more money, more cash and gifts. My parents weren't able to pay that. Soon things change and it turns into violence. The first step to solving a problem is to acknowledge that one exists. We really need to do something about domestic violence because it's affecting our family, our friends, our community. A lot of women are afraid to speak about domestic violence. Standing up against mistreating and disrespecting women is the best thing to do. I got involved as an ambassador and voice for ACHRH to speak up against domestic violence and introduce new ways through art with projects like Natakviha. I would certainly hope that other men in the community can do so as well. We want more men to stand up, speak and do something about domestic violence in the community. We really need to work with men to change their attitude and the attitude in the community about the domestic violence. In the past year alone, there were uh, more than 65,000 family violence related calls to the police. Much more worrying is the murders that occur in the context of family violence. In year 2015, there were more than 70 murders of women in the context of family violence. This is an unacceptable number. We as a community have to find solutions and to understand how to stop this problem from occurring. We do not want a single murder. Children suffer enormously as they witness the level of threat and fear within the home. It has lifelong consequences. 
not only for children who are in this world, but also babies in utero and mother's bodies producing stress chemicals has a bad effect on the baby in utero. Why Natak Bihar, you may ask? Because it's through art and expression that we break down barriers, change old ways, and make a difference. With Natak Bihar, we're hoping that the South Asian community can have an open conversation about domestic violence, and are also hoping that with Natak Bihar, we can explore how to tackle this issue. I think all these emotions um, will be explored through our um, theatre workshops and men will be able to tell their stories, maybe stand in the shoes of a victim, find solutions to their own feelings in a non-confrontational or non-accusatory environment. All in all, family violence is an evil problem and Natak Vihar invites the community to examine this issue. We want men and women to come and explore the problem with us, observe what the theatre has to offer, take part if they feel like joining, but add their voice in a small way or in a big way. I really want everyone to participate in Natak Vihar workshops. I participate myself. I found it's a lot of fun. Natak Vihar is a series of three workshops where we come together to explore themes of domestic violence. Our biggest challenge right now is to change attitudes towards domestic violence. You can help do this by bringing your presence and your energy to these workshops. By doing this, you will contribute to the community, help make a difference and break down barriers. And I think it will also help us as running the project to find solutions um, that will help with this problem in society. Change can only occur at the subconscious level and through all the aspects of Natak Viha, this can be achieved. It really helps everyone to change their thinking, to change their old ways and habits and break down the barriers. The Natak Viha workshops will help you communicate better at work and socially, will help you work better with each other and also learn a lot of fun icebreaker games. Overall, there's a lot of laughing that we do. So if you're in two minds, come along and give it a try and make your voice count. Stop family violence.